Hey everyone, James Grandstaff here. All right, so today's video is more of a how-to video, and what I wanna show you how to do is create a custom audience within your Facebook Ads Manager, and then uh, walk you through how to get the code, and then tell you where to place that code on your website so that you can build a, a custom audience of people who have visited your website. And there's a couple different ways to do this, so I'm gonna walk you through the two, the two main ways to do this and then kind of give you a couple examples of what kind of uh, ads you could put in front of those audiences. So when you log into your Facebook ads account, you'll see audiences over here to the far left. So click audiences. And if you currently have some audiences created, you'll see them listed here. If not, you come up to the top right and click create audience and then choose custom audience. And they give you an option to do customer list. This is if you were gonna upload phone numbers or emails or things like that website traffic, and then app activity. We wanna choose website traffic. And there's really two main things you need to pay attention to here, or, or the only two really that I pay attention to and that seems to be working well so far. You have a couple options. One of them is to build a custom audience of people who hit any page on your website. So if you have like an e-commerce site or a blog or whatever it is, and you just want to be able to put ads in front of people who visit your site. Like if you're getting a lot of traffic from Google, Yahoo, and Bing, a lot of organic traffic, you want to be able to put an ad in front of those visitors once they leave your site, you know, to get them to come back. So if you leave this blank and it, or, or by default where it says anyone who visits your website, you're good to go. You can change uh, the days here. So anyone who visits, uh, it'll basically keep them in this list within uh, 30 days uh, all the way up to 180 days. You can go lower than 30. You can go like seven or whatever, uh, but it, the maximum is 180. So if you're just doing this for anyone who visits the site, I might go the 180 days. And then down here, you just give it a quick name. We're just going to go test one, two, three, and you click create audience. It's going to say thank you. Then you come over here where it says uh, you put a checkbox next to it. And then up here, you go to actions and then view pixel. And then you take this code right here and you would place this in between the head and the head open tag and the head close tag in your website code. Now this is going to be very, this is going to be different for depending on how your site is set up. But if it's, let's say, let's say you're using a WordPress site, then you would put this in like your header template. I think it's called header.php and you would just put this code within your WordPress site. So that at that point you have a custom audience, uh, code installed. So anyone who visits any page on your website, you're going to build this audience that you can then uh, follow up and cr follow up, meaning create retargeting ads for, for Facebook. So that's kind of a generic way to do it where you can just get everybody in a list and then put ads back there to get them to come back. And you could put different offers in front of them or, you know, whatever you're offering, whatever you're selling. The other way to do it, which is more specific, same idea, click custom or create audience and then custom audience website traffic and then we have here people who visit specific web pages people visiting specific web pages but not others and then people who haven't visited in a certain amount of time i generally just uh, select people who visit specific web pages now this is very cool you just select uh, url contains or url equals if you have like a dynamic site where the thing changes all the time and it might be like question mark uh, you know, uh, checkout equals, and then like some string of code that's g generated dynamically, then you might just do question mark uh, checkout or checkout equals. So if the URL contains question mark checkout equals, then you're building a very specific audience of people who have hit this page. So you would then give it a name, just do checkout and create audience. Now, it's gonna create, like I said, a very, very specific, you will know for certain that people who have hit a very specific page on your website are gonna be over here in this list. Now, it's most likely gonna be a lot smaller than your, your main list if you're hitting everyone, but you now understand that, oh, if they made it to the checkout, then they're really interested. They've gone through my sales funnel and maybe I should put an ad in front of them that says, hey, maybe you got distracted. Maybe you didn't get a chance to purchase the product. Click here and come back. And that'll help you generate some of those lost sales and deal with like cart abandonment, things like that. Uh, for instance, I have one here for four cent case, case study. So basically it's a blog post on my site. I want people who hit that. 
I'm assuming they're very spe- they're very interested in learning how we're getting four cent clicks with Facebook ads. So then I retarget them and put uh, an offer in front of them to help them with their you know personally help them one on one with their Facebook campaigns, and that's working really well. You'll notice it's a very small list though; it's only a hundred people so far, and it gets, it's updated daily. But I know exactly what's going on here. Uh, as far as like the mindset, where they came from. And you can do this over and over again. You can create as many custom audiences as you want. And uh, as long as you're, like I said, based on the different stages of where they're at in your funnel or your sales process. So that's really all I wanted to show you here. Now, there is one bit of confusion that I was working with a few clients on that I want to clear up for you. If you're using a site like WordPress, okay? Well, here, first, let me show you this. I just created these three a minute ago. So let's look at the code. And I know I'm getting a little bit technical here, but this is kind of important. So the code ends in 3649, right, for this one. If I look at this code, it also ends in 3649. And if I check this one, this code ends in 3649. So basically, all of the code is the same. So you only have to install the code one time on your site if it's like a WordPress site. So install the code one time so it covers every single page on your site. Then, But you still come in here and create multiple custom audiences and then make your different settings here. Like if you want to do people who visit specific pages and you have... Uh, you know, multiple page, you want to do like, again, depending on where they're at in your sales process, if you want to do, all right, I want to build an audience of people who hit my landing page, tell them, then you tell Facebook what that landing page is. So you could go URL equals, and then you would type in, you know, the full URL, right? So like, you know, land, you know, landingpage.com. So now anyone who hits this page is now in an audience. So you know that the ad that you would want to put in front of them might say something like, hey, thanks for visiting my site, but you didn't opt in to get the free thing that I was offering or you didn't take certain action. So then this campaign right here for this audience would just be to get them to take the next step in the sales process. Does that make sense? All right, the next thing then, you would create another audience just like that and it would be URL equals and it happened to be the sales video or your sales page or your store or whatever and then that audience, same idea, you would create an ad for that audience that says, hey, um, I noticed you made it over to the store, you didn't quite check out, maybe you got distracted, et cetera, et cetera, come back and make your purchase. So you can create all these different audiences, but you only need to install the code one time on site-wide if you have like a template-based website, like WordPress. You just put it on the header, and no matter what page you have, the, the, the custom audience code is installed So all you have to do then is just come in here and create multiple audiences and then set the rules for those audiences. And that's it. So I hope this was clear. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And then if you want help setting this stuff up or if you want help with any of your Facebook-related marketing, um, click the link above or below this video. It's actually a banner. And it says, I need help with Facebook marketing. Let's talk. Click that. Schedule a time with me. And um, we'll get on the phone for an hour and we'll kind of hash out your strategy and... um, help you get uh, everything set up so you can start making some more sales. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.